So, dear students, welcome to another lecture of basic electrical engineering. In this particular lecture, we will discuss some numerical related to the DC machine, specifically on EMF equation of DC machine. So, let us start with the first numerical. So, in this example, uh, the statement is that a six pole lap wound DC generator has 720 conductors. A flux of 40 milliweber per pole is driven at 400 RPM. Now we have to find out the generated EMF. So first of all, you need to know that this problem is related to a DC generator. And we have to find out the value of EG. That is the generated EMF. Now, symbolically a generated uh, in, uh, a DC generator is represented like this. So, as we have already discussed this in our previous lectures, this is a symbolic representation. The direction of this current is outside. So, here we will connect some load, right? So, this is a load. And these two are the brushes and this represents the armature that is the rotating part right and these are the brushes so this is a, a representation of the dc machine in which we are representing the armature and the brushes so now <clears throat> what all things are given you can see we uh, the given parameters are number of conductors that is z is given flux per pole is given that is phi and rpm is already given which is nothing but n right so n is given uh, p <clears throat> phi is given Z is given and the equation for EMF is EG is equal to N P phi Z upon 60 A and pole number of pole is also given 6 pole right so this is P so P is also given now what about A N is given P is given phi is given Z is given what about A so because it is a lap wound right since it is a lap wound dc generator so in lap wound dc generator the number of parallel path because a is number of parallel paths so here a would be equal to p that is 6 right so this is how you need to uh, understand this uh, point that uh, if if uh, the machine the dc machine is lap wound then number of parallel path uh, are equal to the number of poles of the machine if a dc machine is wave wound then uh, number of parallel paths are two irrespective of number of poles right okay so this lap wound and wave wound is how uh, the armature winding is connected. So it represents that point. Okay. So we have already taken up these uh, points in our previous lectures. Now, so number of poles is given, number of conductors are given, flux per pole is given, which is 40 milliweber. So 40 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 weber. And then speed of rotation is given M, which is 400 RPM number of parallel paths A would be equal to 6 because it is a lap wound generator and then we have to calculate the generated EMF. So this question is very simple question. It is based on the simple EMF equation of DC generator and the EMF equation is given by this, uh, this formula EG is equal to P phi Z and 60 A. So when we put all the parameter P equal to 6, phi equal to uh, this 40 milliweber Z equal to 720 and N equal to 400. 
and a is equal to 6. So, and by putting all these parameters and calculating, so the generated EMF that is obtained is equal to 192 volt. So that means this generator, this DC generator, uh, with all these parameters will generate 192 volts. So as you can see, it is very simple and easy numerical, right? So let us proceed to the next numerical. In this numerical, the statement is a six pole, that means P, lab connected generator. So this is a lab wound generator. So here A is equal to P. A is equal to P, right? Has a useful flux per pole. So flux per pole is also given phi. And if no load voltage at 400 RPM, so this is N, is 300 volt. So this is EG. So EG is already given, right? So that means our generator, the DC generator, is not connected to any load. The load terminals are open, right? So this is RA is the armature resistance. EG is the generated EMF. Right, and it is connected to some prime mover. So it is rotating at 400 RPM. So what we have to calculate, we have to calculate the conductors, right? Z we have to calculate, Z is not given here. Okay, so we will use the same equation, EG is equal to N P phi Z upon 60A. So from here we can say that Z is equal to 60A EG divided by N P phi. So N is given, which is 400 and all parameters are given. So let us see. So number of poles are six. Useful flux per pole is already given, 0 0.045 Weber. Then no load voltage. So EG is given 300, that means uh, this generator is generating some voltage, which is 300 volt, and we have to calculate that how many conductors have been used to obtain this voltage. Number of conductors, for example, are Z. So number of parallel paths are A is equal to P because it is a lap wound generator. In lap wound generator, uh, the number of parallel paths are equal to number of poles of the machine. So because the equation is very simple, so we will put all the parameters given, right? EG, this is EG, P is put here, phi is this one, Z we have to calculate, N is this, and A is equal to 6, right? So by putting all these parameters, we have, we can rearrange this equation to obtain Z. So it is equal to this equation. So on solving, we have got the answer, which is 1000. So that means to generate 300 volts for a machine with six pole and armature is connected in lab formation. The flux per pole is 0.045 Weber, rotating at 400 RPM. The number of conductors required is uh, 1000. So 1000 conductor is the answer. Then let us come to the example number six. In example number six, we have an eight pole machine. So that means P is given. It is, a, it is a wave connected DC generator, wave connected DC generator. That means number of parallel paths are equal to two, irrespective of the number of poles. Okay. So these two are independent from one another in case of wave wound DC machine, right? So Z is also given right and flux per pole phi is also given here right now at what speed so we have to calculate n n is not given so eg is also given so again it is very simple okay so our dc generator is rotating at <coughs> what speed that is what we have to find out okay so it is very simple number of poles are eight Total number of armature conductor is given 1000, then flux per pole is given, generated EMF is given, which is 500 volt, 
and number of parallel paths are two because it is a wave wound DC machine. So we have to calculate the rotation R, RPM, sorry. So RPM can be obtained from the same equation, EG is equal to this, which is P phi Z and upon 60 A. So by putting all the given parameters here, as you can see, EG is given 500 volt, P is given eight, number of volts are eight, phi is given 0 0.035 Weber, number of conductors is given, which is 1000. This is not given so we have to calculate this one a is given because it is a wave wound dc machine so on putting all the parameters here and rearranging this equation to obtain n so it would be this equation right so this equation has been rearranged to obtain n which is uh, 60 a eg divided by p phi z right so by putting all the parameters here so we have got uh, rpm which is 214.3 rpm right so the answer is 214.3 rpm that means um, dc generator with all these parameters when rotate at 214.3 rpm will generate an emf of 500 volt so let us take up one more numerical of this class uh, which is also again related to the emf equation of dc machine so the statement of this numerical is that the armature of a six pole dc generator so p is given here six pole has a wave winding connecting 650 conductors so that means A is also given, which is equal to 2 because it is a wave wound DC generator or DC machine. The number of conductors is also given Z, Z is equal to 650, right? Now we have to calculate the generated EMF, EG, when the flux per pole is 0 0.055 Weber and the speed is 300 RPM. Now, there is one more case given. So, in the first case, we have to calculate the value of EG. Okay, so two parameters are given here. The flux per pole is 0 0.055 Weber and the speed is 300 RPM. Now, in the second case, we have to calculate the speed at which the armature must be driven to generate an EMF of 550 volt if the flux per pole is reduced to 0.05 Weber, right? So that means this is a new value of flux per pole. This is the amount of EMF generated by the um, DC machine or DC generator. In this case, we have to calculate the speed N. So there are two cases actually. So we have to use the same equation but in two different ways that is uh, for case one as well as for case two so let us see the answer so number of poles are six and then uh, we have the number of conductors that is equal to 650 flux per pole is given speed of rotation is given um, for the first case for the first case so in the first case we have to calculate the value of eg that is generated emf uh, for the second case generated emf is given flux per pole is also given but we have to calculate the rotation that is rpm of the given dc generator so uh, in the case one you, you can see we have to use the same equation, EG is equal to P phi Z and upon 60 A. So P is uh, given, which is six here, right? So value P has been put, phi has been put, then Z is 650 and N is 300 RPM. A is two because it is a wave wound generator, right? So on solving this equation, we have got that the amount of EMF generated 
when the given DC machine with 650 conductor, 6 pole, 0 0.055 Weber per pole flux rotates at 300 RPM will produce or generate 536.25 volts. Now let us take a second, the second case. In the second case, we have to calculate the value of N. So again, we will use the same equation, right? So we will rearrange this equation to get the value of N and put all the relevant parameters which are given. Now for the second case, the value of flux is now 0 0.05. This is the flux per pole, right? And similarly, the generated EMF is 550 volt, right? So by putting all the parameters here, we will rearrange this equation to obtain the value of N. So on solving this equation, we have got that uh, this particular machine uh, with flux per pole of 0 0.05 Weber and generated EMF for 550 volt will rotate at 338.46 RPM or approximately you can see it is 339 RPM, right? So this is the answer for this particular numerical. Now this was all about today's class. Thank you so much.